live from historic Fenway Park in Boston. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, and our starting pitcher here today, Cooper Criswell. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. Leading and I think a guy like that Toronto. can keep a good tempo, right field, don't give hitters time Joy to adjust or think. Springer. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He wastes no time on this one. It's one nothing. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. And now it's Dalton Varsho. That one foul. down the line, and it goes just foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And that's ripped to the left. Base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted that's his hands. Hurt. Nice job that's of going the other way. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So man aboard. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Run around the move. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely of Rafaela. There's one, and that's two. Jays open it up with a solo homer. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're dialed into the show. Back in Boston and towing the slab, Kevin Gossman. What do we need to know here? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring we that got, ERA down, no, no, because you know no. in the back of his mind, no, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Still so stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. Swing and a miss. And one out now. Now there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Batting third. The first base. Now batting Tristan Casas. Right hander kicks deals. Runner on the goal. Save one it's second with a stolen base.
One two bottom of the first. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Abreu. The runner at second with one away. The one two. Ball. And another ball. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Here's the 2 2. Lifted in the air, right center field. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Batting four. four. The third base. You check out the Red Sox lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Two outs. That one ripped left field. And it's off the green monster. In from third is a tying run. It's one more. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Here now the Red Sox DH. Rob Ref Snyder. Ball to strike. Center field. Varsho moving under it. And that's the inning. Red Sox with an RBI double, all even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. What a good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. They made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's the second baseman. One down, base is empty. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Left-hand hitter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes that off that speed. That gets the out. Two, two outs. Base is empty. Clement. So up next for Toronto, Ernie Clement. You and won. another ball. Pitch misses there, three and one. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. 
swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Devers on the run sends it over to first. They get the out and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Now to the bottom of the second. All tied 1-1. Second. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Thinking about Yoshida, he's never going to be the biggest player when he's on the field, but that doesn't mean he can't hit. He gets on base and doesn't strike out very often. That combo makes you a valuable asset to your club. The 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. Got it by him for the K. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. The catch. Connor. Wong. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it. And there's two away. Batting it. The second baseman. And stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. On the run, throw to first. Out of In time. Got him. And that'll do it. Nothing across here this half. We head on now to the top of the third. All tied 1-1. set for the start of the inning and stepping in the rookie left fielder number nine two balls and a strike here it comes comes up empty that's strike two foul ball another 2-2 upcoming and there's a the ball It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Now, here is Leo Jimenez. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, center field. That gets down for a hit. They get the force and one away in the top of the third. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. Criswell checks over to first, and he's back. Kicks and deals. And it is two and one. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And the right hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Tied up here in the early going.
outside low and now three and two. Bounce to the left side and foul ball. Three and two now. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. So two down now, and here is Dalton Varsho. Jimenez off the of first with two away. Righty to the plate. Missed with a changeup. Ball two. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. Ball three. Three two, two Ball out, count. runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on deck for the Blue Jays. Fights it off, he'll see another. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Outside, and that is ball four. The bat, the designated hitter. Vladimir. So two on, but two away. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter. Can also flash some power. Hey. Got the back going too soon. It's Thank strike you. two. Two two on the way. On the ground to third. Devers. Zips it across. Out. out number three. Blue Jays leave a pair. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. As we go to the last of the third. So stepping in for Boston. Sidney Rafaela. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. Swung on, belted. Marshall moving back for it. And that one is gone. And this place is rocking. And it gives them the lead in the third. It's 2-1. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. If that was very patient, and it paid off. Now batting Jaron Duran. A 1-1. One -one. Foul ball there. Oh, he just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Fights that one away. Still one and two. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize now his now. speed by keeping the him right off base. Right. And the defense yeah. breathes a sigh of relief because he puts oh, pressure right. on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Throws the first out. in time. Now that the first base. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a big power threat. Tristan Casas. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. In there. And so down one, one and two. two 
Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Boston, out of the fourth. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, Spencer Horowitz. And a 1-1. Rips that one center field. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now the catcher up to hit Alejandro Kirk. On the ground could be two. Hamilton tossed the second back to first and that is a double play sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details of how these guys execute right there really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off now it's the second baseman pitches in the dirt two and one Blue Jays down a run. Top half of inning number four. Three Next run. offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command Look them. Out. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And a payoff pitch. That one to first. Casas. He takes it himself He's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Red Sox two and the Blue Jays one. Back here in Leading Boston, off. ready to go, go. bottom off. four. And the here is baseman. Rafael Devers. 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 Next ah. offering in there for a strike. And one a count, two. one and two. pitch gets a piece there we'll do it again one two oh. swings through it and that's a strikeout well that split caught a lot of the zone definitely a hittable that. pitch but no, coming off the fastball the pitch before oh. it's kind of tough to recognize you notice there's something different about it he threw it with the same arm action same release point and he left it up but the movement and the change of speeds that was enough to do the job and next is the designated hitter Rob Ref Snyder the one one is fouled off <laughs> And he deals. Line drive. Makes the grab, and there's two out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Two outs, base is empty. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. This to third, and that chance handled. Slings it across. It. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. Back now at Fenway. Now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. Leading off of Luke, the third so, Boot, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Burdansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. And now here is number nine. 
That one opts against the fence. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 2-2, and he's there at third with a triple. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, and all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. for Toronto, Leo Jimenez. That one misses. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Cooper Criswell gives way, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Lucas Sims. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the right fielder, George Springer. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Ball to strike. The pitch. Ball. And another ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 2-1. Ball. And delivers outside. I almost feel like he's frustrated Rebound. a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Dalton Varsho waiting to hit for Toronto. And that one fouled off. One away with a runner at third. Struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Two outs. Ah. In the air, left field, under it. And that's the third out. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Off. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. The catcher, Connor Wong. The pitch. That one hit to right, and that is Springer. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now back, the second baseman, David, David Hamilton, Hamilton, the next to hit. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. On the ground right side. And he grabs it. Foul. One down. Base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Ball. 
That Look one out. misses. Counts full three and two. Payoff pitch. Out towards left center. And there's two away. Now that today. And next for the Red Sox, Sidane Rafaela. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And that one in the air center field. Varsho makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning through five. All even at 2 2. Back here at Fenway. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the DH, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That just misses, and the count's full. Close oh, yeah. pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. I'm just waiting for a foul ball up here. I mean, this is one of the best places to be ready and have a foul ball opportunity. We got a great view of the action. Outside, and that is ball four. It was in this ballpark. You and I were working together in the 2013 Division Series, and you call one. You remember it? Be honest. You remember that? <laughs> I do. I sacrificed a bracelet for it, but it was worth it. The 2 1. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Grounded to third. Could be two. One at second. How about that double play? Huge side relief right there. Big time pitching to reduce the double play. Erase what could have been the go-ahead run. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. Offense held a check there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2-2. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Missed. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Genesis Cabrera up and throwing. Number 43 also throwing. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. The punch out there. And that's the first out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. And now, will you Abreu? One down, base is empty. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two up, two down. The first base Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. Two outs, base is empty. In the air, left field. Settles underneath it. And that'll do it. 
Six innings behind us. All square at two and two. Back inside Fenway Park. Fenway Park. New inning getting started. And now for the Jays, number seven. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Slam and miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. The pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off. Fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stop on the pitch before. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Up with it, fires the first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Now the left fielder. and misses it's a strikeout impeccable command in that one three batters three strikeouts that's electric stuff out there on the mound Genesis Cabrera taking them out. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And here is Devers. The third baseman. Devers. The 1-1. One, one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And a swing and a miss. One away. Big time out leading off the home seven. You know, up variant up. speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher hit. as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Now it's the DH, Rob Ref Snyder. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. One out, base is empty. Outside low, and now Watch it's out. three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Stays alive. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Kirk to first, out. out. Two away now after the drop third strike. Very strong coming out of the pin so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one, getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Out there to center, Barsho sizes this one up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Eighth inning coming up. We are tied 2-2.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Martin. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone. Makes hitters earn their way on base and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. And now for the Jays, Leo Jimenez. The shortstop. Leo Jimenez. The pitch. Swings through that. Apparently was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front right there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Bounced up the middle. Fires to first on the run. That takes care of Springer. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a ball popped up. Rafaela under this one. Makes the catch. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. We are tied 2-2. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 43. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely struggled with free passes this year. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. And a swing and a miss. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And the batter now, David Hamilton. Ball Next one is off the plate. And a count two and one. The pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike two. Action in the pen down there. Eric Swanson appears to be getting loose. Pop also getting ready. Next pitch is downstairs. That's a really good take. Sidine Rafaela waiting to bat for the Red Sox. One down, base is empty. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And the pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now, there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. One down, runner at first. Sidine Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. There goes the runner. Here's it's a right. pitch out. Oh, save! That 
that was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Man at second. That oh. misses. Three and one. Three As a pitcher, one you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Kicks and fires. That's too That's high, and it's ball That's four. Ball. Another walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted him first base with the free pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Red Sox yeah, lineup yeah. turns over. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. With the go-ahead run standing at second. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Two on, one out. Ball. Good to lay off that pitch down. Two ball, two strikes. Two two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base. No but job's not done yet. No Got to get that last out before oh, you can right exhale here. and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this whole crowd applying so much pressure. Willier Abreu digs in now. Two on, two outs. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. Boston strands a pair. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Back in Boston, and now the DH, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Spencer Horowitz next up for the Blue Jays. Fouled off. He was late. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone, and the count is even two and two. High fly ball out towards left field. That's going back. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's now what that. made the difference. <laughs> Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Right-hander kicks deals. No. Just missed. Two ball. One Two strike. down, nobody on. Here at the top of the night. Next offer in there for a strike. Two and two now. Pitch. 3 2 okay. now. Number seven on deck for the Blue Jays. And the right hander deals. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Brennan Bernardino. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year. So this seems like a calculated move. Two outs, runner at first. 
Here's the second baseman. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So one hit is all they get. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. We are tied 2 2. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Eric Swanson. Now, and as relievers go, he's not a big Number strikeout 50. guy. He tries to Eric. force weak contact. So mm -hmm. command and execution are huge for him. Three, four, five, do up for the whole team. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. No outs. Runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. Yep. Swings and misses. And one a count ball. one and two. two. You want a guy that battles at the plate in the biggest moments of the game, and that's what they have right now up there. If anyone can shake it up, it's this guy right here. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him. Now, it's hard to get the, the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And now, Rob Ref Snyder. And the righty deals. And another ball. Here's a 2-1. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. You know, sometimes a throw that bounces into second base can be just as good as a perfect throw in the air. And almost a little bit easier to handle at second base. For me, that caught stealing right there was all about a really poor jump off first. Just didn't time it well. And he was toast after that. Trying to send this to extra innings. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Extras here. Here's the third baseman, Ernie Clement. Here's a 1 1. Ball two. 2 1. Bounce to the right side, and it's just foul. That was close. And it's second. That one out to right. Abreu snags it on the run. The throw to third. Safe. He beats it. Here's the left fielder. Now well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on. Have the force at second first. Perhaps getting any ending double play. That's Outside low. And it's two and one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. The count two and one. 
That one ripped, but foul. That's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he can put the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. So up next, Leo Jimenez. Two outs. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job getting out of the jam. Here in Boston, on to the bottom of the 10. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Righty delivers. Swing and a tap where the goal is foul. One, two now. Check swing, and that's a ball. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. Comes a 2-2. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And the Red Sox walk it off in extra innings. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. A 3-2 final score in this one. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.